Tonight, a former State Department official is charged with a hate crime in New York after he was caught on video unleashing an Islamophobic rant against a food cart vendor. As CBS's Roxana Saberi reports, this incident is part of a wave of hate crimes stemming from the war between Israel and Hamas. The NYPD charged Stuart Seldowitz with crimes including aggravated harassment and a hate crime. Mohammed Hussein recorded Seldowitz several times on different days outside his halal food cart and says he made anti-Islamic statements. But you're a terrorist. You support terrorists. Seldowitz had been a career State Department official and also worked for the Obama administration as acting director for South Asia at the National Security Council. We're going to put big signs here that say this guy is, believes in Hamas. We killed 4,000 Palestinian kids. You know what? It wasn't enough. Seldowitz told the New York Times the videos don't tell the whole story, claiming Hossein told him he supported Hamas, which Hossein denies. Since the Israel-Hamas war began on October 7th, reports of anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim incidents have risen rapidly. The people feel justified in taking out their anger against the populations that they perceive as their enemies. Heidi Byrick is a co-founder of the Global Project Against Hate and Extremism. Do you think this trend of hate crimes will continue? I don't think that this is going to stop until the situation in the Middle East changes in some way. Tonight, a show of unity for Hossein. Neighbors gathered at his cart, and he sat down with them for a Thanksgiving meal. And speaking through a translator, Hossein said he's thankful for the support the community has shown. What do you think of the support that you've seen here? Uh, he's feeling much better than before. Seldowitz has not responded to multiple requests by CBS News for comment, but the lobbying firm he was associated with announced it's cut ties with him, saying his actions are beneath the dignity we practice at our firm. Nancy? Roxana Saberi in New York, thank you so much.